Welcome to MTG Anarchy, where we take a look into the world of Magic the Gathering and throw a little bit of mischief and chaos into the mix. My name is Michael, and it's great to see you here. Today, we are going to be doing a box opening. Now, this is actually going to be the last box opening that we're going to be doing of the following set. Theros Beyond Death. Yeah, I decided, you know what, we've opened a couple of other boxes here on the channel, and this is going to be my last one that I'm going to open for the channel, at least for Theros Beyond Death. I may do it for Ikoria, and I may do it for Zendikar, as well as the um, Mystery Boosters. I will definitely get them for the Mystery Boosters if I can get my hands on them. But, yeah, we are going to go ahead and open up our last box of Theros Beyond Death. Now, before we jump into the opening of the box, if you haven't already done so, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel, as we do release these types of videos here on the channel pretty often. Um, however, with Ikoria not coming out for quite some time, we're going to have to wait, as well as with the Mystery Boosters, we'll have to wait on those. But we do have other videos that are coming out on this channel, such as news videos, uh, Crack-A-Pack Wednesdays, and other things. So, honestly, if you haven't already done so, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Also, if you are subscribed and you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that bell notification to keep up to date with all new videos that do come out on this channel, so then that way you yourself are up to date with all that chaos. But with that said, let's just jump right into the chaos. Alright, this is the final Theros Beyond Death booster box that we are opening up, up for this channel. So this is the last one. Honestly, I'm going to wait to see what we get when it comes to Mystery Boosters as well as Ikoria, but that is what that is. Of course, don't forget your sleeves if you need them for other products, but let's just jump right into this box. Yep, here we go. Uh, wizards, please don't fail me. I mean, I've had the worst of luck when it comes to these boxes other than the first one. So depending on how this is um, or what type of box that I'm going to open and what sort of packs they are, it's going to depend on how well these are. Now with my other boxes that I've cracked, the first one, if it's Japanese style packaging, then by all means you may get like six to seven boxes. If it's just the regular packaging, which I think these are, yeah. These are the regular sorts of packaging, then your hits are going to be around four. So, honestly, keep that in mind. But let's jump right into this. Okay. And of course, I'm. I do have a trusty bag here. I do have a bag, so any and all trash will go right into that bag to be thrown away. Let's jump, or let's get right into the chaos. Let's jump right into the chaos. All right, so I'm going through a couple of the commons and uncommons first before I actually get to a little bit further. So, Renata Cuddle to the Hunt. Not a bad um, call there. Whirlwind Denial. Helios Punishment. And Tectonic Giant with a Mountain and a Wolf. Okay, so we'll, we'll go ahead and put them like that. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll put it like that. So, hopefully I get more than four Mythics in this box, because, yeah, it's it's one of those things where I'd rather go ahead and get more than four, but just go slow rolling through a couple packs here and there. Okay. We have a Hero of Nyxborn, Field of Ruin, and an Aerobos' intermission with... Okay, something was up with this pack, but I don't mind getting another Field of Ruin. Uh, let me let me see something here, because if I just... Oh, Faithful End. Faithful End was one of them. Alrighty then. So, again, foils, uh, mythic hits. Actually, we'll, we'll put the lance down there. Uh, honestly, what are you guys excited for pulling up from these? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Alright, the last pack. Slow rolling, slow rolling. Okay. Furious Rise, Banishing Light, 
Dream Shaper Shaman, and Dream Trawler. Apparently, this card specifically did well in the Mythic Championships. Trying to gate it, so yeah. Then we got ourselves a Swamp and a Wall. Alright, just to make this a little bit easier so I have a little bit more room. I'm going to move the packs over there. And I'm going to go ahead and put all the commons back in the box. Because why not, right? Anyway, moving on. And there's the book that did not do well. Yeah, I, I don't know why you screwed that one up, Wizards, but it is what it is. Alright. Alrios, Enraptured. Sage of Mysteries. We got Favor of Iros and Shatter the Sky. Also another card that did well with a Sentinel's Eyes. Not a bad enchantment aura. Again, with these enchantment auras, they're actually really decent. And we got our planes and a Sayer. Okay. Next one. And of course, I'm not expecting much from this box. I hope I get in a row. I hope I go ahead and get some good mythics. But for the most part. Alright, we got a one with the stars. Grey Merchant of Asphodel. Thornity Singer, which is a hard name to say, but it is what it is. And Protean Thermiturge with Heroes of the Wind, Hero of the Winds, and a Forest and a Tentacle. Yeah, I, I do like the tentacles. I, I like the Nyadir Kraken. Uh, before I move forward, let's just go ahead and move the light over a little bit more. We have a little bit more view. And you can actually see the shine on those. Like, look at that. <laughs> Oof. The foiling is actually not that bad. I, I think with the foiling, it's it's really good foiling. So, uh, let's go ahead and jump to the next one. Okay. And of course, we're going through. Okay, perfect. Nice. Faithful End, Shimmering Chimera, Comes to Freedom. Eat to extinction with a swamp and a go. Okay. Eat to extinction is actually not a bad card. It's an exile card, and then yeah, it's an exile creature or planeswalker sort of situation. So even that and the whole May ability, the whole scry ability is not bad. But okay. Laguna Band Storyteller, Entrancing Liar. Commanding Presence, and Archon of Sun's Grace. Also another card that did really well in the Mythic Champions ship. So I'm at least pulling those, uh, which may see a bit of value, especially the green trawler. But again, I don't know. I I haven't kept up on the Mythic Championship. I only saw today's standings, or the standings as of yesterday. So uh, let's see where we are. I do have a foil, but we have Elspeth's Nightmare. Hateful Eidolon, Stinging Lionfish, and Heliod's Intervention with a Myers Grass. And we got ourselves a Mountain and a Setter. Alright, moving on to the next one. Alright, hopefully I pull some really good stuff out of this box. Because if not, it is what it is. Okay. All the commons are out of there. We got a Mischievous Chimera. Archon of the Falling Stars, Hero of the Wind, and Nylee's Intervention with a Nessian Wanderer as a foil. Foils are actually aren't that bad. Goats. Goats too. Goats are always fun to have, so let's go ahead and open up the next pack. And we're going to be uncommon. So we have one and an Agonizing Remorse, Drag to the Underworld, Thundering Chariot, and our rare is Kurdos, Hound of Athreos, along with a Forest and the Satyr. Honestly, I wish the Doggo did more. I actually do like that Doggo. I, I like Kurnos, Hound of Athreos, just because of the whole Vigilance, Menace, Lifelink, and it's a whole situation that doesn't allow people to do anything with graveyards. It's a 3-drop too, which isn't that bad, so I just wish it saw a little bit more play, but I guess because it's in the Orzhov pillars, that's why. Um, we're almost down. We're at the second to last pack here. We got Donnie Vangel, Furious Rise, Sweet Oblivion, and Delicos. 
Uh, crafter of Wonders with a Swamp and a Gold. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, these boxes are pretty mappable at this point. Um, you're, like, for the last couple of boxes that I've received of the product, yeah, it's pretty mappable. I have not... Well, we get a foil, so hopefully it's a good one. Uh, another Furious Rise. Minions Return. Thrilling Singer. And Whoa Strider. Whoa. With Rapid Flames. Not bad. And you get a Pegasus and a Swamp. Alright, so that was the end of round one. Or the first row. That And I've noticed that with the first row, you're... With all these boxes, you're not going to get um, a mythic or a good rare. Maybe. Um, Alright. We got a Don Evangel, Timurat, Chosen from Death, Soul Guy Lantern, and Thassa's Intervention. And a Forest and a Human Soldier. Which, again, I don't know why I put those in the other pile, but that is what that is. Right, and hope to gravy that, or I, I just hope I do not get another Calyx, because I've gotten a lot of those, so if you've seen my other videos, I kind of have that curse of getting Calyx, uh, Mischievous Chimera, Inevitable and Sweet Oblivion, and Great Baker, Breaker Lamia with a foil, with a foil, Mantle of the Wolf. Not the best rare to get from this box. Um, it comes with a human soldier and a planes. Yeah, honestly, that's not the best rare foil to get from here. Now, if it was a foil uh, shadow spear or a foil um, nightmare shepherd or even a foil uh, Nyx lotus, those would have been better pools. Even the Foil Dryad actually would have been a really good one, but all right, we got ourselves a Staggering Insight, Chainweb Arachnir, Glimpse of Freedom, and Temple of Abandon. Um, I how I feel about the temples. I wish they did see more play. I I really do. I honestly, I yeah, that doesn't even deserve to get its own packing. And I think this is second close to halfway through the box. So let's go ahead and see if this is the case. Hopefully I get something. Coming soon. Okay. We got ourselves a Meyer Triton, Blood Aspirant, Nessian Warrior, and Nessian Boar. I wish the boar did a little bit more, but it's, it is what it is. And of course, when it comes to this, we still do not have any Mythics, which is notable. So this is probably going to be another four mythic box, which is a shame because, yeah. Okay. So we got an annex hardened in the forge, in this version, cling to dust, rise to glory, and a temple of enlightenment. Ugh. Well, again, I'm hitting temples now. So and we're already halfway through the box. So yeah. It's going through my expectations as what it is. Honestly, I don't mind getting the temples, but I, yeah, not the best. Okay. We got ourselves a Mystic Repeal. Phalanx Tactics. Enemy of Enlightenment and an Ideal Tutor. Okay, I will consider this a hit. I like the tutors. I am glad they reprinted Idyllic. I wish they reprinted Thoughtseize and... Uh, that sort of stuff, but you know what? It is what it is. So I'm keeping that as a hit. Uh, the ideal tutor. Because, yeah, tutors, they're going to be sought after later on down the road. I mean, the other one's about 20 bucks, but with more packs opened of this, it's it's one of those things that you never know. Okay. So, we got a Laguna Band Storyteller. Eutropia, twice favored. Feel the Ruin. And Perforos' Intervention. What the planes and a human token yeah not Perforos's intervention not the best intervention Thoughts intervention is actually the best of the interventions I feel um, although honestly you never know so let's go ahead and see what's up with the next pack all right so we got some 
comments. Now let's go. Freak of Spot. Minimize Prophecy. Again, stop play. Nessian Hornbeetle. And Temple of Malice. That's what, our third temple in this box? So yeah, this is not a one of the best boxes, but it's, yeah. I mean, the other boxes at least had the uh, Dryad, the um, other stuff, but yeah, this one, not so much. I'm hoping this one does a little bit better. Okay. I don't think there is a God box um, with God packs, so. Dreamwalker Manticore. Daxos, uh, Beloved by the Sun, Escape Velocity, and Temple of Deceit. Hold on, now, now I have to check. So I got Temple of Deceit, Temple of Malice, Temple of Enlightenment, and Temple of Abandon. Hold on. Yeah, no, this is a temple box. So, you know what? This deserves its own pile. If I get anything else from the temple, I'm just missing one, and then that is what that is. Uh, we're coming close to the second half of, or the second row of things, so, okay. Let's see. I got a Nyx Herald, Reverend Hoplite, Sea God Scorn, and our rare is Athenia the Cacophony. Put these in the wrong areas. And it looks like we have a foil. We have a foil annex hardened in the forge, so not bad. I think that's not going for much right now. I wish it was, but the collector's boosters kind of ruined that. So it is what it is. And still no proper hits or mythics. So let's see here. Also, I keep getting Erebosis as well. I, I hope I don't get one of those, but Impending Doom. Underworld Fires, Commanding Presence, and Nyx Bloom Ancient! There we go! That's what we're looking for. The first mythic hit. And yeah, no, the, this is one that you want to pull. So the Nyx Bloom Ancient, uh, let's actually go over that one for a second. So, Nyx Bloom Ancient, it's an enchantment tre tre creature in uh, Nyx Bloom Ancient. It's a 7 drop, so 4 colorless, 3 green, enchantment creature elemental, it has trample, and if you tap a permanent for mana, it, pro it produces 3 times as much of that mana instead, and it's also a 5-5. Five five. Yeah, no, this is an impressive card, and I'm glad I pulled at least this mythic. Um, yeah, no, it, it's a good mythic. If I get a foil Oro, then that pays for the box, and honestly, that would be great as well, but yeah, that's a definite hit. So that's the first mythic of the box. Let's let's keep going though. Let's keep going. Yeah, this isn't as disappointing as the other box, but we have a Wolf Willow Haven, Dream Sheeper Shaman. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, hold up. Birth of Miletus, Miletus, and Ashiok Nightmare Muse. Anything behind it? Nope. Okay, perfect. So, second mythic of the box, and let's read why this is something that is a good card. So, it's three colorless, a blue and a black, legendary planeswalker Ashiok, plus one, create a two, three blue and black nightmare creature token with whenever this creature attacks or blocks, each opponent exiles the top two cards of their library. The minus three, return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand, then that player exiles a card from their hand. In the minus seven, you may cast up to three face-up cards your opponent's own from exile without paying their mana cost. Yeah, no, this this is powerful, especially for that plus one ability. So yeah, no, this is this is a lot better of a box than I I've received. And let's, oof, yeah, no, the the lighting is a little bit off, but that is what that is. Yeah, no. It, it, yeah, we'll, we'll have to keep that there for right now. I, I need to get a better lighting system in general. Because, um, yeah. All right, let's keep going. But, yeah. If I pull an Uro, then I am happy. Um, Scofos Maze Warden. Wolf Willow Haven. No freaking way. Destiny Spinner. And... <laughs> what? Hold up. Holkronos Unchained. Four drop, so it's two colors, a black and a green. Legendary creature, Zombie Hydra, 
It enters the battlefield with 6 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. It escapes with 12 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. If damage would be dealt to Polkronos, while it has a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it, prevent that damage and remove that many plus 1 plus 1 counters from it. And for a colorless of black and a green, it fights another target creature and you can escape for 4 colorless of black and a green as you have to exile 6 other cards from your graveyard. Third Mythic in a row. Okay, that, that, that is insane. Um, okay, so that's three mythics. Is this whole row gonna be mythic central? That is a question. That is the proper question. We'll have to see. So, um, we have ourselves a Nyx Herald, Reverend Hoplite, Reverend Hoplite, The Birth of Melitus, and the Acronym War with Thermaturge's Familiar. So, it, it's not that bad of one. Um, honestly, it is what it is. Already getting three mythics isn't bad, but uh, let's see if we get any others. Hopefully, Uro. If I get a Uro and a Dryad, as well as a couple of other things from here, then I'll be happy. But you know what? Getting what I got, I'm happy as it is. So hopefully, I get a little bit more value. So we got an Appending Dew, Mirror Shield, Cling to Dust, and our rare is Nadir Kraken. Not a bad rare. Really not a bad rare. I hope this sees a little bit more play, but I doubt it. Um, Commander, yeah, I, I have that in my Nekizar deck. Honestly, I'm wanting to go ahead and play that. Um, I'll, I'll probably show you guys uh, that deck, because honestly, it's all about having your opponent's draw and you dealing damage. Okay. Let's move on to the next pack, which of course, don't know what I got yet, but I think I know what the rare is, and I keep getting the same rare. So, Dream Soccer Manticore, Siona, Captain of the Pileus, Hateful Idolin, and our rare is Ho! Oh! Okay, Thassa Deep Dwelling. Oof! Oof! Okay! And then we'll, we'll just put that down, and we'll put the mountain down. Okay, yeah, so if you're trying to map the box, it's always going to come from the right-hand side. But anyway, Thassa Deep Dwelling. It's three colorless and a blue. Legendary enchantment creature god. Indestructible. As long as your devotion to blue is less than five, Thassa isn't a creature. At the beginning of your end step, exile up to one other target creature you control. Then return that card to the battlefield under your control. And you pay three and a colorless... Or, Three colorless and a bloom to tap another target creature. Oof. Yeah, no, four mythics. So, this is the expectancy to see out of boxes like this. So, but yeah, four mythics and, and some of the good ones too. So, hopefully, I get some more good rares that I can put off to the side because I, I don't want all crappy rares. But, well, we have a foil in the back. So, let's get to that. So, Citizen Petitioner. Devourer of Memory. Clothis' is Design and our rare is Hactos the Unscarred. With our foil being Elite Instructor. Not bad foil. I mean, I think it sees a little bit of play, but again, it's a draw to discard. I think it could see a little bit of play, but I don't know. I don't know. I think now that Theros has come out and people have gotten more hands on their cards, plus with the Mythic Championship, there may be some stuff that is there, maybe not. Ooh, okay, Caliphate Beloved of the Sea, not bad. Underworld Fires, Warden of Change, and our rare is Nightmare Shepherd. Now this is the card that I'm talking about, and this is a fantastic hit. So, for two colorless, a black and a black is an enchantment creature demon that has flying, and whenever another non-token creature you control dies, you may exile it. If you do, create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's a 1-1 one, one, and it's a nightmare in addition to its other types. This, combined with Gary, oof, it does damage. It does damage. And honestly, I'm taking that as a hit. I consider that as a hit. We now have six packs left. So, let's go ahead and see what other little goodies we get. This one had a little bit of a tear in it, so hopefully nothing too bad. Wizards, please tell me that that's not a bad thing. Okay. Put in the comments there. We got a Hero of the Nyxborn. Ferris Band Brawler. Hydra's Growth. Not a bad uncommon. And our rare is... 
Wave Break Hippocamp. And we got a island and a wolf. Again, not bad, but it's not the best one either. Hopefully, we out of the last five packs, we can hit at least one more. And what is up with these? It's like somebody got into the bus, but I, I opened it on camera. I, I sh shouldn't see that. I don't know. I'll have to check the last five. Heroes of the Rebel, Careless Celebrant, Underworld Dreams, and a Temple of Plenty. So I think I hit all five temples. Let's double check. Temple of Plenty, Temple of Abandon, Temple of Enlightenment, Temple of Malice, and Temple of Deceit. Yeah, it's a five temple box. Now if this was only with fetch land, that would be a little bit better, but it's not. All right, so yeah, yeah. I hit all five temples in a single box, so it's possible. Yeah, no, that is just, that is weird for that. I don't know if somebody rigged the box or something, but I, I opened it, it shouldn't be. Mancing Liar, Entrancing Liar, for the first one common, Phalanx Tactics, Nessian Horror Beetle, and Ashiox Erasure with a Foil Mountain. Which they're going for a couple bucks right now, or yeah, a couple bucks. Ashiox Erasure is the rare. And it's not the best rare, but I mean, people play it, so, or people use it, especially Commander, they use it. Because it's like a Banishing Light sort of situation, except you can't cast other cards with the same name. So. All right, Vanishing Light, also another card people are using right now. Inevitable End, The Binding of the Tyson, and Temerit Calls the Dead. So this is more for zombie play. Honestly, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. Two packs left. All right, second to last pack. Hopefully we get get another Mythic. And there's support for or Ultra Pro. Oh, well, we got our foil, which sucks. Eh, it's a wave break in the camp, but we're not a call to the hunt. Acolyte of Affliction. Siona, Captain of Phileas. And the one that is Wu. Uh, Galia of the Endless Dance. And we'll put that there. That's our second one. So, hope we get something nuts out of this last pack. If not, then it is what it is. But, let's see here. I'm guessing not. I'm guessing not. So. We got a Skophos Maze Warden. Temerant, chosen from death. Soul Guy Lantern, not bad. And our rare is Thassa's Oracle. And an island and a uh, card that they throw in there. Honestly, the Thassa's Oracle isn't actually bad um, to go ahead and get. So... I would say, hits-wise, I mean, our foils are just, eh, they're nice foils, but, yeah, the rares, not so much good ones. Um, other than the few that we've received, I mean, Nadir Kraken, I, I'd consider a hit. Um, Thos's Intervention, of course, that's a hit. Um, did I actually get... Did I actually pull all the interventions too? Hold up here. Now, now I gotta check. So we got Perforos, Thassa, Nylia, Heliod, and Erebos. Yeah, I hit all the interventions too. Or interventions. Yeah, so I got all the interventions in one box, which there's that. Then we got a temple or a temple box as well. And for our rares and hits, we have the new Deer Kraken, Thassa's Oracle, and Nightmare Shepherd, as well as the Idyllic Ide Tutor. So those are what I consider hits. And then for Mythics, we got a Thassa Deep Dwelling, Polkronos Unchained, Ashiok Nightmare Muse, and the Nyx Bloom Ancient. So those are our hits for the box, uh, proper hits. Honestly, it wasn't a bad box. It, like I said, with these boxes now, how they are, how they are, um, you're potentially just gonna get four mythics in them. And like I've said in the other video, and I went on tangent, it is a shame. 
it is an absolute shame to see what goes on with that sort of stuff wizards it it, it is but you know what it, it is what it is um also to go ahead and call out what i got from here um i love these arts but they kind of also messed it up in the collectors so that is what it is but anyway with that said um thank you guys so much for joining us here on mtg anarchy I do appreciate everything uh, that you guys have done. Again, this is the last box that I'm doing of Theros Beyond Death. Um, I'm gonna, if I do ever get any more boxes of this, I will go ahead and put that more towards the side or drafting or something like that. But yeah, so this has been that box. Uh, again, thank you guys so much. Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite card that was pulled as well as your favorite card of the set. Honestly, that's what I want to know. Uh, but with that said, again, thank you guys so much for joining me here on MTG Anarchy. This is Michael from said channel, MTG Anarchy. And I hope I have thrown in a little bit of chaos and mischief into your day. Thanks again.